Hey there everybody, welcome to NES Tips this week. Well, we got a pretty tough game for you. That's right, we're going to go over Double Dragon 3. I really didn't want to cover any sequels just yet, but there's been so many requests for this one specific game, I figured I'd go ahead and whip it out for you. So, let's go ahead and get started on it, shall we? Alright, freaks, you know how beat-em-ups go. You got your kicks and your punches, but you got to be careful with these moves. Enemies will sneak in their hits, too, and they do considerable damage. The main thing you want to use is your Cyclone Spin Kick. Now, the main problem with this is the enemies will gang up on you. The easiest way is to have them on either side of you by luring them to toss each other to either side of you. Once they're on either side, you can walk up and down, and they'll come over towards you and get kicked. Weapons are another thing on this game, just like any other beat-em-up. Enemy drops a weapon, you can pick it up and use it against them. Make sure you don't pick them up when they're next to you, because they'll beat you down. And, throw enemies off ledges to save energy. Jump off walls when you can, I love jumping off walls. That's always a hoot. It's good fun. And when you get to the boss, equip your nunchucks on your select screen. Go up to him, hit him with five good hits with your nunchucks, and he's going to go down. Go down like, I don't know, he's going down. Now the guys on level two with the red shirts take care of half your work for you. They just jump across the screen sliding. One on either side, you know what to do. And by the way, throw people off the walls. It's great. I love it. Life is so bad at all. You live it off the wall. Uh, well, uh, there's not much else to say, uh, when you get to Chin, yeah, use your nunchucks. Do what you gotta do. You hit him five times. Five times with the nunchucks. After that, just start Cyclone Spin Kicking him. About four more should take care of him, and then he'll join you, your buddy. On level three, you're gonna be in Japan, you're gonna be fighting a bunch of ninjas. And they do the same thing as the guys in the red shirt, slide across when they jump kick. So this makes it a lot easier for us. Cyclone Spin Kick. Don't try jump kicking these guys, because they're going to hit you with their sword, and that hurts. Once you get inside the door, if you don't jump immediately, you're probably going to get hit by a bunch of spikes. But don't worry about it as long as you're using Chin. He can take the damage because you're not going to use him very much. Use Billy. What can he do? You know it. Cyclone Spin Kick. Now, this sounds cheap and all, but I wouldn't worry too much about using it. This game's tough enough, and it's about the best move in the entire thing. I mean, don't feel cheap. When you get to the boss, hit him with your nunchucks. That's what you need to do, just like the rest of them. Hit him all five times. Now, while you're doing that, make sure to avoid his shurikens, and him flying at you spread with his arms out all crazy looking. Once you get your five hits in, switch over to Chin, equip your Iron Claw, and nail him for the win. In Italy, the new enemies do the exact same thing where they slide it across the screen, but their AI is better. They'll duck when you Cyclone Spin Kick a lot of the times. And not only that, you're going to have to watch out for their weapons, so don't be too far away from them on a straight line. If you're starting to get low on energy and you think you're going to lose your character, don't be afraid to switch. I always like to switch to Chin. He may be slow, but he makes up for his lack of speed with his power in his hands. He really beats the crap out of these bad guys. Yep, beats the crap out of them. Look. Now concerning the boss of this level, what is it that we've learned that you do to unarmed men? Nunchucks. That's right, grab your crotch, spit on the ground, Deepen your voice and hit him with the weapon five times. Five times! Then, break out Chin and hit him with the weapon five times. But Chin's weapon's a little weaker. It's a little tougher to get closer to him. So, after he gives the little butt whooping to Chin that he's gonna get, you're gonna wanna switch over again. Switch over to the ninja and just get in a couple hits with your sword and you should be able to take care of them pretty quickly. Now 
Now on level 5, you want to stand right about here. So when the bad guys jump over, swing your weapon at them. Try and knock them off the ledge. They're probably going to get some hits off on you and do some damage. But at this point, the ninja's expendable. He's best for these jump parts. And that's about it, really. He can't really do a lot against the other ninjas. His shurikens aren't that great. So, might as well use him during the early parts of the level here. Just swing your sword back and forth against all these dudes. If they're both too close to you, swing the sword once at one of them, and then turn around and attack the other one with two hits. Just do this back and forth, and you should be able to get to the door easily. Sticking with the ninja when you get to this point, continue to hack away at the guys. Try and knock them off the ledges if you can, and try not to take too many hits. Uh, should you go ahead and switch if you're about to lose him? <coughs> Nah, remember he's expendable. He's not really needed that much here in this level. So, once he perishes, you'll be able to appear in the middle of the screen. And with Chin, you can really put a hurtin' on the guys. They might get a few licks in, don't worry too much about it though. He'll take care of them pretty quickly, and you'll be able to move on with the rest of the level. The screen will start scrolling to the right when you get past them, and you'll have to make a couple of jumps. Just go nice and slow here, and wait for this platform. Don't try jumping too soon, because Chin's jump is pretty tough to use. Go ahead and use Billy for these last two rooms. Yep, that's right, your two rooms from the end of the game. Use your Cyclone Spin Kick, because we don't want to mess up now, or else we'll get our one continue and start from the beginning of this level again. Keep giving them the good old boot to the head in both rooms, either side of you, over and over, until you get to the mummies. Yes, you're going to fight some mummies, three of them to be exact, and they each take about 16 jump kicks, which is the safest maneuver to use. They'll do a lot of damage to you, so that's the best way to go about it. Once you defeat the third one, it's going to turn into Marion. Oh boy, that's right, you gotta fight your girl. That's not cool, huh? She looks a bit like Cleopatra. Anyway, when she disappears, underground is a snake. You're gonna wanna go up some, and then come down. While you're walking down, she won't be able to hit you while she's coming up. Makes sense, right? After you bust her in the face five times with your nunchucks, go ahead and get Chin out. Grab the iron claw and claw her in the face with those all five times. Now we all know Chin's slow, so when she brushes to the other side of the screen, get over there as quickly as possible. When she does her snake thing, he's still quick enough to move down and not get hit by it. And she'll probably do this quite a few times while you're still using him. When the Iron Claw is expended, keep using him and beating her with your fists. This is a great way to hurt her and do lots of damage. If you end up losing Chin, don't worry too much about it. You still got Billy. Bust out a Cyclone Spin Kick or two, and it should be the end of the game. Well, that about wraps it up for another NES Tips. As you can see, the main thing you really want to do in this game is a Cyclone Spin Kick. Don't feel cheap about it. I felt cheap about it at first, and I thought, whoa, wait a second. This game's extremely hard. Without that, You'd be doomed. Life is so bad at all. Oh, you live it up the wall. Life is so